So now let's say I want to move my cylinders top and my cylinders bottom all at the same time. All you got to do is go here to transpose set and you're going to see you can move the cylinders top and you can also go to cylinders bottom and you can say transpose add and then now you can move all of your cylinders. Or if you change your mind, you say I don't want to move the bottom cylinders, just go in here, transpose sub and now you can just move those top ones again. Now let's say, you know what, I have cubes top and cubes bottom, but that's more organization than I really need. All I really need is a cubes folder. That's okay. As long as, let's go ahead and collapse these folders down here. As long as you have cubes bottom and cubes top next to each other, and if you don't, just remember, you can always just, if you drag this cubes bottom all the way up here and they're apart, just grabs cubes bottom, bring it down here underneath cubes top, and then you can select cubes bottom, go in here, and you can merge these folders together. Now, how you do that is with merge up. If you do merge folder, that's something different. We'll talk about that in just a second, but let's do merge up. And now we just have a cube stop folder full of all those cubes. And I'm going to rename this. And yeah, let's call those cubes. Now going back to that merge here, uh, let's go ahead and turn off transpose uh, multiple. Uh, so we take this cubes folder here and you select that gear icon here. If you do the merge folder option, what that's going to do is take all of your folder contents and merge the, all of the objects within it. So if we do that, we're going to do merge folder. Um, you're going to notice that the visibility for your folder is turned off by default. Uh, however, you can still see one of those cubes in here because it is the selected subtool. So even though the visibility for that folder is turned off, it has a little pin icon. However, if you go down here, you're going to see we have a merged subtool here. So essentially what it did was take the contents of your folder, merge everything in there, and put out a new subtool with those merged cubes on there. If you want to do that manually, you can take this merged result. You can go down here to split two parts and now all these are split apart and then instead of going down here and saying merge down you can if you hold down shift you can turn off visibility for everything in your scene and then you can go through and you can tap the eyeball back on for just these cubes now you're gonna see the eyeball is still turned on for these folders but because I held down shift it turned off all the visibility for my subtools so even with the visibility of these uh, folders off you don't really see anything if you hold down shift and turn off folder visibility it will turn off the visibility for all the folders as well and you can do that as uh, you can just hold down shift and tap all those. So now, now that these four subtools are visible, you can go down here to merge visible and it's not, it's going to look like it didn't do anything, but in fact, it actually made a merged subtool out here in your tool palette. So if you click that one, you can see there's the merged result. So now if you wanted to, you could append that merged result to the bottom here of your stack, or you can insert it, but either one, and we've moved that out, you can see that's the result. So it's just saving you a bunch of steps. If you just want to merge the results of a folder, it'll just go ahead and merge and append it for you as opposed to you having to do that manually. So we'll go ahead, or just going like merge down, merge down, merge down in your folder. So let's go ahead and delete all of these extra subtools out of our scene here, and we'll hold down shift and turn back on the visibility of all of our subtools here. And if we go back into this gear icon, I think we've talked about most of this stuff. Oh, you can uh, show and hide your poly paint. You can also do that holding down shift. You can turn on poly paint on and off for all of the um, objects in that folder, but you can also do it through here. If you just want to do it for a certain folder, you can do show, show poly paint, and then all of the objects within that folder will have their poly paint turned on, that colorized turned on, which will be these little paintbrush icons. And of course, you can also hold down shift and turn all those off. Now, if you do that, it's going to turn off all the poly paint for everything in your scene. So you can do this option as a folder by folder option. Uh, down here, we have delete folder and delete all. Delete folder is just going to delete your folder. So now all of those cubes don't have a folder anymore. And again, I love doing this where I go transpose multiple, just hash them all or unhash them, all, I should say, hit control F and then bam, cubes again, we have a new cubes folder. Uh, however, if you go in here and you say delete all, that's going to delete your folder and the contents of that folder and it's not undoable, so be very careful when you're using this option.